Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss bipolar disorders. This is very important sub subject. This is a mood disorder where the mood is sometimes on one extreme and sometimes on the other extreme. This is a very complex disorder. We are going to discuss this now. Mark Vonnegut says the biggest gift of being unambiguously mentally ill is the time I have saved myself trying to be normal. What are the bipolar disorders? Bipolar disorders formally called manic depresses, depressive illness or manic depression. This is a mental illness that causes unusual shifts in mood that I have described. Energy unusual shifts in energy, unusual shifts in activity levels, unusual shifts in concentration, and ability to carry out day-to-day -day tasks. Causes of bipolar disorders. Scientists don't yet know the exact cause of bipolar disorder. But they do believe there is a strong genetic or inherited component. Bipolar disorder is considered one of the most heritable psychiatric conditions. Many consider that changes in your brain also affect this disorder. Researchers have identified subtle differences in the average size or activation of some brain structures. There may be environmental factors like trauma and stress. A stressful event such as the death of a loved one, a serious illness, divorce or financial problems can trigger a maniac or depressive episode. Because of this, stress and trauma may also play a role in the development of bipolar disorder. What are the types of bipolar disorder? Number one, bipolar one disorder. It is defined by manic episodes that last at least seven days. And most of the day, nearly every day, or by manic symptoms that are so severe that the person needs immediate hospital care. Usually, depressive episodes occur as well, typically lasting at least two weeks. Episodes of depression with mixed features, having depressive symptoms and manic Symptoms at the same time are also possible. The experience of four or more episodes of mania or depression within a year is termed rapid cycling. And the number two is bipolar two disorder is defined by a pattern of depressive episodes and hypomaniac episodes. But the episodes are less severe than the manic episodes in bipolar 1 disorder. Number 3 is cyclothymic disorder. This is also called cyclothymia. It is defined by recurrent hypomanic and depressive symptoms that are not intense enough or do not last long enough to qualify as hypomanic or depressive episodes. Signs and symptoms. 
people with bipolar disorder experience periods of usually in unusually intense emotions changes in sleep pattern and activity levels and uncharacteristic behaviors often without recognizing their likely harmful or undesirable effects these distinct periods are called mood episodes most mood episodes are very different from the moods and behaviors that are typical for the person during an episode the symptoms last every day for most of the day episodes may also last for longer periods such as several days or weeks if we compare the two symptoms of manic episodes and symptoms of a depressive ep episodes in manic episode feeling very up high elated or extremely irritable or touchy whereas in depressive episode feeling very down or sad or anxious in manic episode feeling jumpy or wired more active than usual in depressive episode feeling slowed down or restless in manic episode decreased need for sleep in depressive episode trouble falling asleep waking up too early or sleeping too much manic episode talking fast about a lot of different things flight of ideas in depressive episodes talking very slowly feeling unable to find anything to say or forgetting a lot in manic episodes there are racing of thoughts in depressive episodes there may be trouble concentrating or making decisions in manic episodes feeling able to do many things at once without getting tired in a depressive episodes feeling unable to do even simple things in manic episodes excessive appetite for food drinking sex or other pleasurable activities in depressive episodes lack of interest in almost all activities in many episodes feeling unusually important talented or powerful whereas in depressive episodes lack of interest in almost all activities symptoms of both sometimes people experience both manic and depressive symptoms in the same episode and this is called an episode with mixed features people experiencing an episode with mixed features may feel very sad empty or hopeless while at the same time feeling extremely energized diagnosis the healthcare provider can complete a physical examination and order necessary medical tests to rule out other conditions the healthcare provider may then conduct a mental health evaluation mental health care provider usually diagnoses bipolar disorder based on a person's symptoms lifetime history experiences and in some cases family history accurate diagnosis in youth is particularly important other conditions with bipolar disorder many people with bipolar disorder also have other mental disorders or conditions such as anxiety disorders may be there attention deficit hyperactivity disorder adhd may be with it misuse of drug drugs or alcohol or eating disorders may be there sometimes people who have severe manic or depressive episodes also have symptoms of psychosis such as hallucinations or delusions 
the psychotic symptoms tend to match the person's extreme mood. For example, someone having psychotic symptom during a depressive episode may falsely believe they are financially ruined, while someone having psychotic symptoms during a manic episode may falsely believe they are famous or have social special powers. Looking at symptoms over the course of the illness and the person's family history can help determine whether a person has bipolar disorder along with another disorder. Treatment The most common types of medications that doctors prescribe they include mood stabilizer and atypical antipsychotics. Mood stabilizers such as lithium or valproate can help prevent mood episodes or reduce their severity. Lithium also can decrease the risk of suicide. Medications that target sleep or anxiety are sometimes added to mood stabilizer as part of a treatment plan. While bipolar depression is often treated with antidepressant medications, a mood stabilizer must be taken as well as an antidepressant alone can trigger a manic episode or rapid cycling in a person with bipolar disorder. Because people with bipolar disorder are more likely to seek help when they are depressed than when they are experiencing mania or hypomania, Taking a careful medical history is essential to ensure that bipolar disorder is not mistaken for depression. Precautions while taking medications. Talk with their health care provider to understand the risks and benefits of the medication. Report any concern about side effects to a health care provider. Right away, the health care provider may need to change the dose or try a different medication. Tell their healthcare provider about any prescription drugs over the counter medications or supplements they are already taking. Remember that medication for bipolar disorder must be taken consistently as prescribed even when one is feeling well. Psychotherapy. Psychotherapy, also called talk therapy, can be an effective part of the treatment plan for people with bipolar disorder. Psychotherapy is a term for a variety of treatment techniques that aim to help a person identify and change troubling emotions, thoughts, and behaviors. It can provide support to education and guidance to people with bipolar disorder and their families. Other treatment options. Cognitive behavioral therapy is an important treatment for depression and cognitive behavioral therapy adapted for the treatment of insomnia can be especially helpful as a component of the treatment of bipolar depression. Treatment may also include newer therapies designed specifically for the treatment of bipolar disorder, including interpersonal and social rhythm therapy and family-focused therapy, where the whole of the family is involved in therapeutic consultations, determining whether intensive psychotherapeutic intervention at the earliest stages of bipolar disorder can prevent or limit its full-blown onset is an important area of ongoing research. Electroconvulsive therapy. Electroconvulsive therapy is a brain stimulation procedure that can help relieve severe symptoms of bipolar disorder. Electroconvulsive therapy is usually only considered if an individual illness has not improved after other treatments such as medication or psychotherapy or in case cases that require rapid response such as with suicide risk or catatonia 
that is a state of unresponsiveness transcranial magnetic stimulation the transcranial magnetic stimulation is a type of brain stimulation that uses magnetic waves rather than the electrical stimulus of uh, electroconvulsive therapy to relieve depression over a series of treatment sessions although not as powerful as electroconvulsive therapy transcranial magnetic stimulation does not require general anesthesia and presents little risk of memory or adverse cognitive effects light therapy light therapy is the best evidence based treatment for seasonal affective disorder and many people with bipolar disorder experience seasonal worsening of depression in the winter light therapy could also be considered for lesser forms of seasonal worsening of bipolar depression coping with bipolar disorder living with bipolar disorder can be challenging but there are ways to help make it easier for yourself a friend or a loved one get treatment and stick with it treatment is the best way to start feeling better keep medical and therapy appointment and talk with your healthcare provider about treatment options take medications as directed structure activities keep a routine for eating sleeping and exercising try regular vigorous exercises like jogging swimming or bicycling which can help with depression and anxiety promote better sleep and is healthy for your heart and brain keep a life chart to keep to help re recognize your mood swings ask for help when trying to stick with your treatment be patient improvement takes time social sports help what you can do daily habits make a difference these healthy lifestyle habits along with professional treatment can help manage the symptoms of bipolar disorder stick to a consistent routine go to sleep and wake up at the same time each day being sleep deprived can put people at risk for manic or depressive episodes sleeping more than usual may be a sign of a depressive episode limit caffeine which can disrupt sleep eat well and get regular exercise always take your medicine as prescribed check with your treating doctor keep a mood journal keep your primary care physician updated avoid using alcohol and illegal drugs minimize stress turn to a sport network bipolar disorder patients may become suicidal <laughs> learn the warning signs and seek immediate medical help for them depression changes in eating sleeping activities isolating yourself talking about suicide hopelessness or helplessness acting rec recklessly taking more risks having more accidents abusing alcohol or other drugs focusing on morbid and negative themes talking about death and dying natural therapy fish oil reduce irritability and aggression in patients maintain mood stability reduce depression symptoms and improve brain functions but may have side effects like nausea heartburn stomach pain bloating belching and diarrhea rhodiola rosea is also effective in this disorder but have my stimulant when may cause insomnia s adenosyl methionine is also effective in brain this brain disorder and acetyl cysteine is very effective if taken 2 grams daily choline 2 gram to 7.2 grams is effective in this case 
Inositol and St. John Wards are also effective herbs and treatment. Calming techniques like massage therapy, yoga, acupuncture and meditations are also helpful in treating this disorder. Lifestyle changes of regular exercise, adequate sleep and healthy foods are way ahead in that treatment. Natural mood stabilizers like adaptogens, exercise, vitamin D, Omega-3 fatty acids, fruits and vegetable, mindfulness and meditations all help in this case. Magnesium found in whole grains, beans and dark leafy green vegetables like spinach has been shown to have an effect similar to lithium, the most common bipolar medication, upping your intake of magnesium, a natural mood stabilizer, may decrease your need for medication. A dose of 600, up to 600 milligram can be taken. Vitamin B6, B12 and folic acid can help homocysteine levels rise in many episodes in bipolar disorder. Vitamin B6, B12 and folic acid reduced homocysteine levels in people with bipolar disorder. Vitamin B6 may also improve cognitive symptoms. Thank you very much.